everyone, welcome back to It's All Eats. We're here in Melbourne, we're doing Best Cafe. You know, I had a toss up, do Best Coffee, Melbourne Coffee, Melbourne Coffee, you know they go. And then I thought, wait a minute, I want to get more than coffee from these places. So why don't I call it Best Cafe, since it's Melbourne Cafes, Melbourne Cafes. So we'll do Melbourne's Best Cafe. It'll mostly be about the coffee and we'll get a little side, a little extra, you know? So we're starting at St. Ali, which is behind us in this lane, right? We're here in South Melbourne. We're going to higher ground in the Melbourne city. We're going to Brunetti's on Lygon Street. Then we're going to the glass dance, like a jail in Coburg. Let's cut. What I was thinking was, I was thinking, what type of coffee do I get? Like, what's the coffee gonna be? What's the best comparative point? Everyone's gonna have an opinion. If I get a cappuccino, you're gonna say, you should've got a latte, or you should've got a long black. If I get a long black, they're gonna say, how can you do a coffee test with a long black? Because you say everything that I don't do, don't ya? And if I do it, you say the other thing. You know why? I won't listen to you get in the brain, and we don't get into it, bruh. So anyway, so I'm gonna get whatever coffee I want on the spot. It's gonna be different every time. Let's go, brother. Look, we're in a lane straight across from it. Hey? Eh? And there's a crate. Oh! Perfect. We're straight across from the, the cafe, right? And there happens to be a lane with a crate for Spanos. Melbourne was created with Spanos in mind. That's what's going on. Listen, you know the people here in Melbourne straight out? Cafes, everywhere you're going, they're so much more happy and cheerful, bruh. And they're not like aggressive people like Sydney. You know in Sydney, everyone's aggressive, bro. What are you talking to me, bro? What are you looking at? Bro, what are you walking to me, bro? What are you wearing clothes, bro? What are you even breathing, bro? What are you breathing for, bro? You know? Here, they're just like happy, bro. They're getting on with life. Anyway, let's get on with it. So here's the magic coffee. I noticed that it's a half full coffee, but that's, that's how the cool people do it, you know? So we're gonna start. Wow, look at that. Anyway, let's start with their coffee. So open him up. It's a magic coffee, to be honest. What's so magic about it? Maybe go on their website and search it up, but I'll give it a taste. Half a coffee. Hey, <laughs> half a coffee. If you're hanging for a coffee, cuz, you know, uh, put more water in it then. Oh, lad. Wow. That is a smooth, strong, bitter strong coffee, but the start, you know when you have a full long black and it's just like full bitter, right, the whole time? The start of it's that, but it's cut with the milk. It's cut so it doesn't hang around. So it's like full bitter at the start and then cut and milky and sweet at the end. Wow, what a coffee, cuz, actually. What a coffee, cuz. Even that bean is beautiful, bro. Wouldn't say it's fruity, but at it has a nice, nice like, like a woody, woody taste. Like a deep dark, uh, anyway, that's a beautiful coffee. Bro, what's going on here, cuz? Dried apple on the top, like custard, like blocks of custard. Biscuit, wow, and the whole thing's crumbed, wow. Wow, $18, $5, $23. Boys gotta remember that sometimes I forget to say the prices, cuz, you can't blame me. What a porridge, cuz. Like a, like a full cinnamon porridge, apple cinnamon. That's what it was, apple cinnamon porridge. It was gun. No matter that, they're putting mad biscuits and stuff in it. This is hectic breakfast. That cafe was pumping, pumping. Oh, bro, that's mad breakfast, bro. It's so good. It's like the porridge is cooked perfect. It's not milky at all. It's not dry at all. Perfectly cooked, moist underneath. I wouldn't say it's healthy. It's got biscuits in it. The whole thing's crumbed. It's like um, a sweet crumb, <laughs> sweet breadcrumbs. What do you reckon that is? It's like crushed biscuits, that's what it is. Whatever, what's these biscuits called? Whatever these biscuits are called, bro, just <laughs> butterscotch, buttermilk, whatever you're called, it's like all of that is the, the crumb that, it's hectic. Hectic, lad. The whole vibe in the cafe was pumping. I swear, if I came to a cafe and got that porridge and that coffee, Wow, well, cuz. Anyone that's come near this St. Ali Cafe, spoil, cuz. You don't know what you got, cuz. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. You don't know what you got until it's gone. Um, sometimes, <laughs> trying to rock out every saying there is, bruh. Sometimes the chess move isn't always the chess move you want. The hearts of the brave, whatever, bruh. I'm making them up now. Oh, I need a disc, cuz. I need a disc. Where's the second place, cuz? Higher grounds in the city. 
Fire grounds in the city, cuz. Well, what a start, cuz. Melbourne cafes. Can you move one of your cafes up to Sydney, please? Let's urge. Go. Get out of my face, cuz. Alrighty, we are Spencer Street. Spencer Street. Anyway, we're talking about cars. It's right here behind us on the corner. Higher grounds. Bougie Cafe. I'll be back. One of, the, one of the waiters in there while I was ordering, but while he goes, he's the biggest fan, this and that, and he goes, bro, I got a photo with him. He goes, and he goes, I love your show, blah, blah, blah. I go, listen, I'll tell you a little secret, cuz I don't let people in on this. I'm filming right now, he full flipped. I go, they're around the corner hiding in the bushes. He goes, please, when your food's ready, let me come out with you. He's like from Ireland or something. I go, all right, bro. So when I come back with the food and the coffee, one of the wait waiters is gonna be there and say hello to you. I want to say hello to you, mate. Here he is, but the waiter, the waiter I want to be part of the show. Cuz, what's your name? Hi, Grant, Tom. Tom. Hey, when I went there, when I was ordering, he goes, it's an order for Bill, isn't it? Extra napkins. Extra That's napkins it, brother. Order, Thank brother. you, mate. Later. The Soge. <laughs> he goes, the order name Bill? <laughs> yeah, lad, like my run name. He goes, I'll make sure there's extra napkins. Anyway, let's cut. Look at this. Hey, look at this place. Only in the southern states of Australia. Cappuccino, one sugar. I got chili eggs. I told you I'm gonna get random stuff. He said, do you want to add chorizo? I said, of course, cuz. I'm from Galicia, La Lorenzo. Of, of, of course you add chorizo, cuz. Wow, cuz, look at that. He put jalapenos on it because he knows old Anos loves the jalapenos. Look, brother. Wow, cuz. Wow, the chorizo's on the side. Look at that. This was $32. What are you looking at? What are you talking about, cuz? Well, cuz. Gun quality sausage, lad. Let's see these chili eggs, bruh. Let's see the old chili eggs. That place was so packed. You gotta go in, put your name down, and you gotta wait outside. Sorry, uh, I'm still filming. What the f is wrong with you? I don't know, I just got this really weird pain in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> well, cameraman's having period pains. Back there. I'm trying to eat, I just see the camera drop and he's going, like, I'm like, are you all right? You eat periods, lad. Ibuprofen, that's it. Hot water bottle. Eating this with my hands, bro. Oh, lad. Straight away, hectic olive oil all over it. Spicy, wow. Straight away, hectic olive oil and a, and a, a oil, a chili oil is in it. Haven't even got the jalapeno yet. Well, but I'm eating it like this, like a warlord. Eating it like Rambo, what are you talking about? Oh, yum, bro. Like chili flakes, like roast onion, garlic. Oh, lad, that's hectic. Fried onion, garlic, like a chili oil, mad olive oil, chili flakes. The sauce has like an Asian, like an Asian taste to it. But then the jalapeno kicks in and makes it like European again. With the chorizo, we're talking about, cuz. Wow, lad. Extra napkins. Thank you, waiter. What did he say his name was? Tom. Whatever it is. Thank you, brother. But that's a gun feed, lad. Hectic. Fire. Uh, if you're trying to eat in that place, the lineup looks like you're waiting and you get there about 40 minutes early. What are you talking about? Cappuccino, one sugar. Wow, that smells strong, bro. Straight off the bat. That's a spicy meatball, cuz. Well, well, cuz, that's strong as, bruh. That's a beautiful coffee, cuz. That's a beautiful coffee. Very strong, but the bean has a nice flavor to it. It's not just a rich, bitter flavor, although I don't mind that. It has a bit of a, you know, a bit of a perfume to it. Lovely, cuz. Dark chocolate on the top. Look at that, you can see it straight off the bat. I tasted that straight away. They use dark chocolate. Uh-uh, no. <laughs> well, cuz. How do I compare that coffee and those chili eggs to the porridge and that coffee from St. Ali? Well, cuz, they're both hectic. They're both hectic so far. I... St. Ali's winning, cuz, that porridge. Well, cuz, that special magic coffee made by Merlin the Magician and Harry Potter and Hogwarts. I don't know what's going off that coffee, cuz, but it's nice. The porridge was gone, although this is gone, but 
It's close. St. Ali's winning. This place is coming second. Where are we off to now? Brunetti's, Brashidi's. Now we're off to Brunetti on Ligon Street, lad. Little Italy. Little fancy place of all the food connoisseurs and coffee maestros. Cut. <laughs> Let's cut. Yeah, Brunetti's is just behind me, middle of Ligon Street, right? It's a bit desserty. It's a cafe, but I think it's a bit desserty, so I might come back with a slight dessert. Stay here. Right. <laughs> How do I explain that place, lad? Bro, right, it's like Papa's at Haberfield times three. That's how to explain it. anyway. Look at this, what a lane. Straight across, little Ligon lane, cuz. I'm renaming it. Look at the houses, cuz. Look at me houses they've got around here, bro. It's like Redfern over there, bro. Cuz, I'm not even gonna, cuz, how do I explain going in there? Brunetti's. Cuz. You, you know, it's like poppers in Petersham. You walk in, the cannolis, the desserts, this and that, which I got, by the way. But it's just huge, lad. It's like there's there, then there's the coffee bar, then there's, the, they're making hot food and starting down the back. I don't even know what's going on. It was too far, cause I was yelling now, I was echoing back now. So what I've done is I've got desserts, this one. Strawberry tart, I've got a Nutella cannoli and a panna cotta tart or something. There you go, cuz. Let's see how these go. Well, cuz. Well, the first one I'm connoisseur of is the cannolis, cuz. This is Nutella cannoli, I never had that. I need like chocolate and vanilla. You know, they got that, that cottage cheese, ricotta, whatever, bodgy cannoli there is. This one's Nutella. Oh! You hear that crunch? Straight Nutella. Not a Nutella substitute, straight Nutella. But I hear the crunch. Well. What a cannoli, cuz. <laughs> My mum would go off, she loves cannolis. Panna cotta tart, lad. Let's try this. Oh, lad. Well, I have no idea what this is, but it's gone. Inside's like red. What is it? What's, what the, what's panna cotta, cuz? What's panna cotta? Yeah, well, something's red in there anyway. It's nice. You know, the strawberry tart. They're gone. Mmm, the smell, like strawberry candy. Oh, wow, cause they're gone. They are gone, cuz. Those desserts, like I, there was a million, I'd pick three, they're world class, cuz. What does they expect? Brunetti's, it's like the puppets of Ligon Street. And what else did you expect them to taste like, cuz? You knew what I was gonna say. Let's try their coffee. Latte, one sugar. That's a spicy meatball, cuz what are you talking about? Oh. Let me think hard before I make big allegations here, cuz. Oh wow, cuz. That that is a that is a complete different coffee again. Just straight rich cuz, no fruitiness. No, no, nothing, cuz, just straight rich, but creamy. Rich and creamy. Rich and creamy, cuz, that's how I explain it. Full creamy, but lad, the latte-ness, lad. That's the full latte-ness, lad. Froth in this coffee, lad. Lattes are the Mac, but lattes are better than cappuccinos. Who's gonna lie about that? Not me, cuz. Fuck, lad, how do I compare this? How do I compare this, cuz? Bro, these cafes are uh, like just, they're just full on. It's like they love what they're doing, cuz. It's like they're in there trying to be like full art. You know what I mean? Like they just, it's just, they love what they're doing. The first place St. Ali's inside was like an old mechanic or an old, an old fire station and had that theme and everything was cool and the food was with love and it was hectic and the coffee was world class. 
The second place was like an old abandoned warehouse in the city that they turned into a big food hall that was pumping and the food was hectic and the coffee was mad. This place is like the most authentic yet modern Italian type of like coffee dessert place with authentic Italian food at the back. It was massive. The cannolis and the, the, the desserts are what you would expect, almost perfect. The coffee is world class. It's so hard right now. It's so hard, cuz. It, it's, it's so hard to decide, is there Buru Munchen coming out? No, Buru's all right, bruh. None of these places we've gone to have been like just an ordinary cafe. I'm, 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 I'm down to the point where I'm trying to think of the experience. That was $20, by the way. At this point in time, I'll make a decision after this and St. Ali's. Brunetti's on my gun straight and St. Ali's are coming equal first and higher grounds is second, not far behind them, but I put that at second. So we're going from here, what's that last place called? It's apparently it's made in an old jail or something. It's in Coburg, what's its name? The Glass Den, right? So we'll go to the Glass Den, then I'll make my final decision. But at this point in time, this is equal first with St. Ali's and the higher grounds coming second. Bar Coburg, here we come, brother, let's cut. <laughs> All right, last spot, we're in Coburg. Listen to this, bro, have a look at this. It's a f old prison. It's a fucking old jail. It says on the front, like, Metropolitan Prison or something, like, old. Look in here, bro. Used to, like, jail walls, they put apartments. That's the old jail wall, bro. That's the old jail wall, get me out of here, but they get me out of here, cars. Anyway, down there where the reception is, it was like the old reception for the prison they made it into a cafe. The Glass Den, it's called. Let's try it out, bruh. And come out with PTSD like, like that. This is Pentridge. This is fucking Pentridge Prison. You know, like the movie Chopper, like famous Pentridge Prison, haunted Pentridge. I think like a Ned Kelly or some shit died here. Like, bruh, I'm in there. I'm in there, lad. And I'm fucking, I'm looking. I order the food, I order the coffee, this, that. And I look, like, I know it's a prison, right? And I look and I see book of Pentridge, Pentridge, Pentridge. I jump on my phone, I write Coburg Prison. It comes up Pentridge. I go to the lady, I go, is this Pentridge Prison? I'm from Sydney. She goes, yeah, this is Pentridge. I go like from the movie Chopper. She goes, yeah, go down. That's the cell blocks that they all were in. She goes, they're wine cellars now. What, what's going on? We're at Pentridge, lad. <laughs> D division, right? D division. Wow, look at this place, lad. That's crazy, cuz. Just a full old prison, and they just turned it into everything, cuz. It's just freaky. Metropolitan prison. Officers assembly area. Bro, that's crazy. Look where we are, cuz. I full broke into Pentridge. I full broke into Pentridge prison. What's this, H division? Fucking H division, mate. It's all eight, it's still food reviews. This is the best spot I've ever, I've ever food reviewed. So there's a cafe inside this old prison and what I ordered from it is a Mediterranean breakfast because we've had porridge, then we've had chili eggs, then we've had sweets and I need a bit of this in my life. I need a bit of this. Oh, what have they got? Wow, cuz. Wow, wow, wow. Post eggs, manoush. The manoush is bodge, but it's there. Labne, avocado and lemon. Avocado and lime, latte, one sugar, this, that. Let's try it out, cuz I can't believe where I am. I can't believe where I'm doing food reviews, cuz. Wake up to yourself, what are you talking about? What is this? These are like halloumi sticks, fried halloumi sticks. Deep fried halloumi sticks. Chorizo, pepperoni. Nah. Sujuk. That's nice, the sujuk's all right. This whole thing was $32. $28, $4. Straight out, the, the manoush is not that gray, but with a lot of love now on it, it might be all right. You make little singers, lad. A, a little manoush, sujuk, pickle, fold it in half, scoop the love now up, we're talking about cars. Why is it so red? It looks, you know like those fake cherries? I spocked the chili, I thought, oh, hey, it's, I love chili. And then I seen the, sh the stem of the chili is the same color as the chili cars. Looks like it was made in a factory. 
It tastes all right. It tastes like a pickled chili. It's just weird that the stem is the same color. Like, what did they put in the food coloring in the pickle? Let's try this fried halloumi again. I'll scoop it with the avocado and lime. Avocado, mint, and lime. That's nice. That's done good. Proper avocado, you can see the chunks, not like go woolies and you get the jar, you know? It's all right. It's all right. Deep, deep tomatoes. <laughs> deep. Why did I call them deep tomatoes? Why did I call them deep tomatoes? <laughs> You know, like when you're doing food shows, you gotta find an adjective for the start of things. You can't just go cucumber, pickle. You gotta say something about it. And that one was deep, all right? <laughs> deep tomatoes. <laughs> They're poached egg as of uh, a little camisole spread on the top. Don't know what it is. That's, that, look, look, that's all right, breakfast. That's not the type of breakfast that you'd usually get takeaway. Probably usually presented better and stuff and this and that. I'm used to some good Lebo feeds, Mediterranean feeds. Does that rank in the top 20 that I've ever had? Probably not even the top 50, but it's all right. Like it's, it's all right food. I'll try their coffee. Latte one sugar, cuz, from Pentridge. Cuz, we talking about cuz. I'll sip this here with this in the thing, Metropolitan. I'll sip it here, cuz. Make sure that's in the back load for the view, cuz. We talking about. <laughs> Wrong. Every coffee in, in Melbourne that I've had has a strong smell to it. When you smell it from here, so it, it, it's really strong. They make, they're not scared to make them like really rich, strong coffees. But it's the art of like cutting it, you know? Smoothing it out. See how they've done. It tastes a lot more like a, a just a normal coffee. It's all right, it's all right. For a latte, it's not that creamy. A lot more water-based. Most normal coffee. You know how I said in Sydney's best coffee? Like this, this is just a completely normal coffee about that coffee shop in Surrey Hills. That's what I got to say about this, cuz. Like, just a full normal coffee. Not bad, not great. Probably doesn't stand up in Melbourne's best coffees. I'm ready to decide. This, this place is last, right? I love the novelty that it's in a prison. I love it. Bro, I'm standing in, I'm standing in Pentridge Prison. What are you talking about, cuz? I'm full standing in Pentridge Prison. I'm probably standing in front of H Division. I love that. I love how they've turned it into flats and the cafe that we're reviewing now is in the reception area when you enter. Like where you enter the prison, cuz. Like back in the days, wow, cuz. Uh, is it as good as any of the other places that we went to? Not even close, cuz. That's just an ordinary cafe. That's an ordinary cafe. So that's last place. Not to say there's anything wrong with that. It doesn't stand up against Panetti's or Higher Grounds or St. Ali, Street Ali, however you say it. How the fuck you say that? How do you say it? Is it St. Ali or Street Ali? I'm just gonna call it Ali's, all right? Wow, so we've got this in last place. Higher Grounds is coming third. That place was crazy too, except big competition, bruh. Brunetti's and Ali's cars. Wow, cars. Wow, what am I gonna... Cuz, I have to make a decision right now cuz I've left it to the end. Cuz mm. it's that, it's that Italian place on Ligon Street, Brunetti's. That, that place cuz you went in, it's like, only way I can explain it from Sydney is like Papa's at Haberfield, that's a small, it's like that but massive cuz, from gone, like the, 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 just the environment. In, in the different sections, and brah, their coffee was gone, their food was gone, the place looked gone, the experience. Ali's is a very, very close second. It was like a bit more like funky, you know, you're in an old mechanic or whatever you're in, the food is hectic, the coffee's mad. That magic coffee that I had, well, cuz, well, the philosopher's stone, this, that, cuz. But anyway, that's it, car. Who wins? Bernetti's on Ligon Street, cars. So far, everything I do gets a part two. You know what I mean? You can't decide just after four, but we try and pick the four highest rated places, you know, with all the hype and review them. But that doesn't mean there's a little undercover. They can't beat them. Of course there could be, cars, but that's for another show. And right now, Bernetti's on Ligon Street wins. Get out of my face. Come on, go. It's lock in. It's lock in, mate. Get in your cell. See you later.